hi hi welcome back to invest your fast and drafting my name is umo so today's video is going to be on how to sew these sorts of structured sleeves specifically the kind of sleeve that we're going to be re recreating is this one and this is what the front view actually looks like however before we proceed into class i wanted to mention that this is a snippet from our princess course trappers garments and ashobi masterclass this class is for anyone who is into custom made female outfits aka ashoy b this class contains this module on how to sew this sort of judge traditional outfits with this um double wrapper effect do you understand the, the judge outfit that we made in this class is actually fully boned do you understand and then it has um loops and rope at the back do you understand so i'm sure this is a class that you don't want to miss so on to the class for today here is my fabric for that um structured sleeve i just went ahead to iron my pleats do you understand you can see there's no interfacing on this fabric this is my george fabric by the way and i just um ironed the pleats in place but this is the measurement is actually 20.5 inches by i think 19.5 inches yeah 19.5 inches so that's basically what i used and what i did was i just ironed the pleats into place do you understand so after ironing it into place i just went ahead to get my s day this is my the one for my second sleeve so this is for both sleeves left and right do you understand that so i just went ahead to get my s day and i am going to be ironing s day to this um, pleated fabric do you understand i'm not ironing sd to the original fabric before i pleat it i'm ironing the sd after pleating it do you understand so the whole idea of ironing sd to it is to actually keep these pleats in place do you understand you can see that the pleats on the sleeve of the dress that we're replicating is actually um very flat do you understand it's not like drapes it's actually pleats do you understand this is why we can actually iron it and then iron with sd if they were drapes we we'll probably have to do something different do you understand that so i'm just going ahead to iron this in place i'll do the, the same for both sleeves so i'm going ahead to do that and i'm just trimming out the excess sd that is just by the sides do you understand so after trimming this out i'm going to go ahead and cut lining do you understand the essence of cutting lining after pleating it is to cut because you don't need to pleat the lining do you understand so you're just going to cut out this exact shape so after i pleated it what i eventually had was five i think five and a half by um 14 and a half inches or something like that do you understand this is after pleating it and then cropping out you know excess do you understand that so i'm just going to go ahead and cut out my lining this is for my two sleeves so I just went ahead to cut out the lining. What I use for the lining is the same fabric with lycra fabric. However, for the lining of this sleeve, I used George. Do you understand? So I'm just trimming out the um, sleeves to ensure that both sleeves are the exact same size. Do you understand? After which, I'll now go ahead and then cut out lining for both sleeves. So essentially, the... Um, material I cut out for lining was about five and a half by 14 inches. Do you understand? Just the same thing. So now what I'm going to use to give it that structure is my boning. This is um, Rigelin boning. I think this is about um, three quarter inches. Do you understand? That's 0 0.75 inches or so. Between 0 0.75 and then 0 0.5 inches, something like that. So this is, I've cut out my um, lining. You can see my lining and then that's my main fabric that I actually pleated. Do you understand? I used the same judge to line as I mentioned earlier. So what I'm going to do is along those horizontal edges, I'm going to sew my boning. Do you understand? So you can do it for just the top or you can do for both top and bottom. That's just along that longer 14 inches horizontal edge. Do you understand? So you can see where I'm placing the um, sewable boning. So I'll just sew along that. You can already see the structure that it has already given to you. So you can do for both top and bottom, or you can just do for just the top. Do you understand? And then also, if you want the fluffy effect, do you understand? Sort of like that um, fluffy um, effect. You can also iron crinoline to the inside, to the lining fabric. Do you understand? Use hemingum. I'll show you in another video where I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this um sort of cape do you understand this one that you can see on the screen so after doing that just go ahead and sew both horizontal edges that's the longer 14 inches edges do you understand and then you can sew one 
of that you can sew just that edge and leave this other one open do you understand that so that you can use it to turn it so i'm gonna have to sew my edges and then this is what the outfit actually looks like i'd fixed my zip the full tutorial of how i made this dress is actually in this princess cuts and strapless garments and ashabi master class and for this fabric i actually lined with lycra and in that in that class i actually explained the essence of lining with lycra versus maybe um suits lining you know and all the other so i'm gonna have to do the um wrap effects with these small drapes do you understand and then this is what the sleeve looked like before I fixed the yoke, do you understand? But you can actually see how nice and clean it looks like. So to purchase the full course, please follow the seller link in the description box. In that full course, I also showed how to um, fix the yoke, which is an issue that a lot of people have, how to fix your yoke and then also fix the sleeve. I actually draped the yoke. And then this is what the full outfit looks like. This picture does not even do justice at all. And my mannequin doesn't look ju do justice, but this is what it looks like. You can also use that same method to create this sorts of sleeve. Do you understand? Iron SD and then use boning to create that structured effect. So my next tutorial would be on how to sew this sorts of cape. It looks really complex, but I'm going to show you a really easy method of achieving that. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and ensure that if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.